60 billion dollars wiped out overnight by one article. I tell ya, there are a lot of journalists over here in the West with raging miniature sausages in their pants, salivating at the idea of such power. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to be a part of the state media to get anywhere near that kind of influence, I'm afraid. Though, considering the position of the media over here in the West, Maybe they're not that far off after all. Anywho, what happened here is that the largest gaming company in the world, Tencent, had 60 billion buckaroos wiped out 10% of their company simply just poof, in the air because their products were described as spiritual opium. <laughs> You gotta love China on occasion, don't you? <laughs> Incidentally, I think I've escaped from the well now, but let me know. Computers. Vile, untrustworthy things, I tell ya. Economic Information Daily cited Tencent's Honor of Kings in an article in which it said miners were addicted to online games and called for more curbs on the industry. If you are somehow unaware, China has been taking the we must protect the children stance against video games quite seriously. Amongst other things, introducing facial recognition software and requiring identifications to play games so that the game can lock you out after a certain period of time, dependent upon your age and the time of day and the week, etc. And only barring you to play X amount of hours, so as to make sure you have plenty of time to study to be a good little cog in the communist machinery, of course. The outlet is affiliated with China's biggest state-run news agency. I'm not even gonna try. So, what exactly is even going on here? There's the whole facial recognition thing, right? Because they are ruining a generation. In fact, that is actually the literal argument apparently used. Spiritual opium has grown into an industry worth hundreds of billions, the newspaper said. No industry, no sport can be allowed to develop in a way that will destroy a generation. <laughs> Interestingly as well, there are certain reports of de facto little concentration camps, not of the lethal variant yet, mind you, where Chinese parents send their children to detoxify them from the internet and gaming. <laughs> I tell you. China's a funny place on occasion. I mean, man, the sad part is how ridiculous the overreaching and downright fascist their government is because I love Chinese gamers. They could teach us over here in the West a thing or two about not simply rolling over and taking it up the ass from corporations. Uh, Three Kingdoms, Total War, for example. Oh, and by the way, if... What happens to be a company like CA that has invested a lot of money in the Chinese market has aimed specifically at conquering aforementioned market to the point of translating their patch notes into Mandarin. Oh man, you must be starting to regret that decision awfully quickly, mustn't you? Or at the very least, you should. This of course also affected a bunch of other companies as well. Uh, Electronic Arts down 2.3%, Amsterdam listed Process, whatever the hell that is, a 30% stock in Tencent for more than 6%, etc, etc. It's been kind of devastating, frankly. So devastating, in fact, that <laughs> this is the best part. The uh, Tencent was the largest company in Asia, most valuable firm, and it was dethroned because of this by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. <laughs> oh, now that's funny. China and Taiwan have a somewhat testy relationship at the best of time. And eventually, the Chinese actual government, you know, the people calling the shots, realized that Hold on a second, did we just wipe out billions of dollars of value immediately for some of our largest companies? Did we just disincentivize investment in our company, company, country? The two are somewhat intertwined when it comes to communism, I guess. For God only knows how many foreign industries we kind of did. 
didn't we? So eventually, they decided to uh, fix the article. In the original article, the newspaper had singled out Honor of Kings as the most popular online game among studios who it said are played for up to eight hours a day. Oh my god, eight hours! Oh, awful. <laughs> But it was retracted, and a more um, conciliatory article was put in its place. Because, again, $60 billion worth of money, protecting children are important and all that, but uh, not still $60 billion worth of importance. Though Tencent immediately got on the playing field and said that they would be introducing new regulations and control systems to make sure that it wouldn't ruin a generation. Snappy. It takes companies over here absolute ages to come up with anything, like the recent Activision Blizzard thing, for example, where they issued an apology and then backtracks on the apology, apologizing for the apology. Until eventually, now recently, the leader has departed the company, and he has been replaced by a man and a woman. Because, you know, considering the situation, you best make sure that at least one of the two has a pair of tits. Oh, heavens. In so many ways, China has it better than us, and in so many others, so, so much worse. Mm. Why can't we just find, like, a, a nice little middle line here somewhere? Why, why must we as humans always gravitate towards the most extreme and ridiculous solution? <sighs> the human condition, I do suppose, but, man, spiritual... Opium. <laughs> Jesus. Bearing in mind, too, China has a bit of a sensitive history when it comes to opium. The Opium Wars is one of those where Britain decided to thoroughly and ritualistically humiliate China so as to reintroduce the opium trade, opening it up to Britain with lucrative exclusive monopolies, etc. Of course, opium back in the day was not quite as, um, vilified, shall we say, as now. In fact, it was uh, considered a bit medicinal, in fact. Very valuable too, unsurprisingly. There was even, um, I, I seem to remember, cocaine cough drops at one point. We used to be a hint more liberal even with uh, somewhat stronger drugs back in the day, frankly. But this shows a little bit of the interesting conflict within China right now, where you have the, the Chinese variant of the SJWs, the bootlickers, one might call them, which have, did, have discovered that the government are adapting a anti-Tencent line, kind of, at the very least, Tencent is at the end of the day essentially a state actor in China, and they figured, all right, Video games are currently the thing that we're all berating and beating on, so let's do that. And spiritual opium, that's a, that's a strong condemnation, particularly again in China. And that will definitely shift some newspapers, and <laughs> it did. Unfortunately, it seems that they may have overstepped their bounds a little bit here, and received a good little whack on the fists and the fingers from the actual bosses of all of this. Because, again, at the end of the day, 60 billion dollars? That's worth more than a little bit of virtue signaling even within China, as it turns out. Not to mention, one cannot underestimate the value of Tencent, not merely just as a massive economic force, but also one to introduce um, certain elements into the, the wider ecosphere as well of the West. Owning Riot outright, for example, has allowed them to uh, ensure that Riot games don't do anything particularly offensive to the uh, Chinese markets. And they are, of course, continuously trying to diversify their portfolio as well, with ever more companies, including Epic 2, which is one of the reasons why I'm not particularly fond of that particular web store. And, of course, there's the upcoming Steam China, which... <sighs> I guarantee you, that is going to be one hell of a disaster. I don't know when. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, or even next week, or even next year. But that, uh, that bomb will detonate. But for now, just a little bit of fun, isn't it? 
60 billion dollars spiritual opium. Well, I suppose much like the opium trade that preceded it, the actual one, this too turns out to be a somewhat, um, volatile market. Until next time, I'm in Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.